Oh, no, no matter what you see, everything in my room. <laughs> hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time to my channel, hi, my name is Sarah. It feels like it's been a while since I actually, like, full out made a video in this chair. I actually can't remember the last one I made in this chair. It was probably Lush Christmas, which was a while ago. <laughs> For today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Sephora VIB sale, or the VIB Rouge, or whatever you would consider it. I'm pretty sure it's just called the Sephora VIB sale. Now, if only I had a way to look it up. Yeah, so the Holiday Bonus 2019 Beauty Insider event, Holiday Bonus. So for these, Rouge members get 20% off from Friday, November 1st, which has already passed, obviously, to Monday, November 11th. VIB gets 15% off, and Insider gets 10% off from Thursday, November 7th to Monday, November 11th. So basically, Rouge gets about a week more, and it continues on even through November 7th. Now, getting into a little bit of, I don't want to say controversy because it's not really controversy, but getting into a little bit of a topic of the Sephora VIB sale is that a lot of people are going off about the fact that they've taken away, I think it's like 5% off of VIB sales, I think. Uh, VIB Rouge and actual just VIB were both 20% off and then Beauty Insider, which is like the first tier, was getting 10%. Basically it goes Rouge, which is the 20% off, VIB, which is 15, and then Insider, which is 10. And they took, I think, 5% off. I honestly never really pay attention to it. But there was so many people going off about the fact that they're screwing everyone over and how it's not fair and how they're not taking enough money off of it, etc, etc, etc. Now... <sighs> We all know that Sephora is more expensive. It's It has luxury brands there. It's going to be a little bit more expensive than, let's say, the drugstore. But with that being said, they do not have to give anybody any percent off. People would still buy from them. People would still... People would still buy from them even if they didn't put any percentage off. A lot of people were saying that they aren't going to be buying anything so long as they live in Canada because, well, Honestly, 15% off doesn't even really cover the taxes of whatever you're buying at Sephora anymore because taxes are insane. But that's not Sephora's fault and like I said, Sephora doesn't have to give anybody any percent off of their products. I mean, it's a nice little gesture to show appreciation to people constantly buying from you, but they do not have to, by any means, give anybody any percent off. They choose to do that. Although, they probably do jump up the prices quite a bit during the year to make it so they can give people that percent off, but that's an entirely different video entirely different point. Welcome to inflation of the market. I preface this in every single Sephora VIB sale video. I definitely do really really like to get people presents especially during these kind of sales because first of all you get a percentage off, you get a percentage off sale items, and you get a percentage off any gift sets. And with that you can buy definitely some for yourself but also some for your family, friends, whatever. And it's really 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 cheap. I mean it's Sephora cheap. It's like not super cheap but like pretty cheap. Anyways, with that being said, I wanted to get into my Sephora VIB sale basket. I obviously haven't bought any of these items yet because I have not hit the market for the Sephora VIB sale. I am not a Rouge member, I am a VIB. If you guys want to know what I'm wanting to get, then just keep watching. So for the first item, I was wanting to get the Milk Makeup Tattoo Stamp that is in the star shape. I do have this one right now. I bought this one actually for the Pride Parade in Vancouver and then I end up using it. Then I end up using it again and again and again. I've used this quite a few times and I was looking on the site. They also have horoscope or like star signs of each. They have quite a few. Honestly, they have quite a few of these and I, I'm pretty sure I actually got this during the last VIB sale, but I did get the heart and now I want more. Let me just tell you a little bit about this is that they stay on. A long time. When I did wear them during the Pride Parade, I took off the rest of my makeup, but I wanted to leave it on for the next day just because whatever. I know it's not great to leave makeup on overnight, but I did and can't take it back now and it was a while ago anyways. But, <laughs> but it stayed on past sleeping. It even stayed on when I slightly washed it off. It does not come off very easily, which I find really nice. The wearability of an eyeliner is really really valid in my opinion especially when it's something to do with on your face like a design on your face because you probably might want to wear it for another day although like i said totally 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 don't recommend wearing your makeup through the night definitely recommend <laughs> washing it off at the end of the day but to each their own i have got a lot of milk makeup on my shopping list didn't even realize that the next thing in lineup is the milk makeup kush waterproof mascara now i've purchased this twice 
first time I got this, it was just a little travel size guy, and then after that, I realized that I wanted the waterproof one. I used, okay, the first time I purchased this, I got the little guy, and it wasn't the waterproof one, it was just the regular. I absolutely loved it, except for the fact that it wasn't waterproof. And then they came out with the waterproof one, so I was like, I am so popular. <laughs> then they came out with the waterproof one, and I'm like, I wanted one that's waterproof, so so I ended up purchasing that, but in full size. I've had it, I use it literally every single day of my entire life. I use it literally every single day. It is my favorite mascara and pretty much the only one I'll actually use. I mean, I'll, I'll dip into ColourPop if I'm looking for like a colored mascara, but if not, if I'm just looking for a black one, the Kush Waterproof Mascara is the way to go. And as usual, well, <laughs> I say as usual, like I've, I've gotten it more than once, but I'm going to be getting the full size one. As you guys may have seen in my trying sativa while well, trying sativa products. <laughs> I did get the Milk Makeup Cannabis, uh, the Milk Makeup Cannabis face mask. It comes in a little like stick form and you like... No, I do not have it right here. I thought I did, but apparently I don't. But I did get that and I used it in, I think, two videos now. If you guys are interested in how that goes, I will link the sativa video down below as it is infused with sativa cannabis. Although, like, the seed oil, not the actual, like, if you guys are interested, obviously, you can go on Sephora and actually check out fully and thoroughly what it is. My skin is very oily. It's, it's a little bit drier in the winter, but it's still pretty damn oily. So the one that I wanted to get was the, the Milk Makeup Matcha Detoxifying Face Mask. What it is, is a, what it is, is a, just pop-ups, pop-ups galore. What it is, is a solid clay mask stick infused with matcha green tea that controls oil. Matcha is really good for the skin as well. Any green tea is really just good for the skin and the body. It controls oil, balances skin, and calms redness for a fresh complexion. I definitely do need a lot of balance to my skin because... Well, because of hormonal changes, because I'm a girl, and well, <laughs> pore is normal dry combination oily, so basically every single one. Skincare concerns are pores, which I got a lot of. Um, they're big. Blemishes and oiliness and formation is a mask. Magic green tea detoxifies and purifies pores. Kombucha and witch hazel absorbs oil to help diminish the appearance of pores and cactus elixir calms and hydrates skin. Something I'm actually getting for myself and also my mom is going to be a set. It's Olaplex set, which I think in the last Sephora VIP, my hair's just going everywhere. I think in my last Sephora VIP sale video, I told you guys that I got the Olaplex styling cream. So I've been using it after every single shower and my god, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, I don't know if it, it's even going to translate at all on camera, but my hair has gotten so much softer, I'm feeling the root. <laughs> Why are you feeling the root? But my hair has gotten so much softer and like honestly, yeah, I need a trim, but like it feels healthier. And Olaplex actually strengthens from the inside out, so it's not just a cream that like chills on the outside surface of your hair and just like makes it feel soft with all the silicones. So they are a salon quality and they definitely started out in a salon and they weren't really available to outsiders. It was just like, if you were a salon professional, yes, you could buy them, but you had to get them from a specific distributor. But now they have branched out because they've realized they make a lot of money like this, especially being sold in like a place like Sephora. The first Olaplex product I ever got was from Sephora and I just keep purchasing it and purchasing it. That was actually, I think, I think it was the oil. And I, I think I used it twice and then I ended up giving it to someone because I didn't really care about it. Plus, I was, I think I was blonde at the time and any kind of yellow oil is going to deposit yellow onto your hair. You have no choice. It's not an agreement. <laughs> you buy it and if you put it on over and over and over again, anything like argan oil or any kind of yellow oil is going to be a depositor. So I ended up not using that and then they came out with a cream or at least I saw the cream finally. But this set includes a lot. A complete four set Olaplex hair repair system. It includes the hair perfecter which honestly I don't even really know what that one is but it repairs and strengthens as Olaplex does. It's the shampoo, which I'm going to end up giving to my mother. The conditioner, which I'm probably also going to end up giving to my mother because her hair has not grown in like 40 years. It is stuck here and she keeps threatening to cut my hair off when I'm sleeping and glue it under her head. She's a little crazy. So I thought maybe Olaplex might help her a little bit. The last one including this is the Bond Smoother, which is the leave-in reparative styling cream, which is the one that I currently use. And I absolutely love it. And I figured since it's $114 value, I'm getting it for $79 and then some off. Might as well, especially if I can get her two things, even maybe a third, and then get me something. <sighs> and the last thing that I want. <laughs> the last thing I want out of this sale is the Milk Cosmetics Gemini palette. It is absolutely beautiful. I will obviously be posting a picture on one of these sides. It is absolutely freaking beautiful. And, well, 
I saw Rod Beauty Christie do a review on the Gemini palette, so I wanted to get the Gemini palette. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> but it is also absolutely beautiful, as if I don't have enough palettes myself, but again. I saw Robbie Christie wanted it, so I also wanted it. She punched me in the face. It was awesome. A palette with 10 bold pigmented shades in matte and metallic textures from soft, warm nudes to cool olive tones to satisfy every attitude. But that is it for today's video, and I do hope you guys enjoy, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.